Hello you developers, welcome back to the Doing It Easy channel for another lesson. I again apologize for the mistakes that I did on the last lesson. Uh, I hope you understand what was the mistake. Uh, let me go through that again first of all. So what I did was I actually named this event and this object that is E2 full calendar model is event object the same name. So what happened was when I was looping through this event uh, these events, these events, the, the events that I got from the database, I actually named this event and this the same thing. So this value became an event object in the first line, the, in the 40th line as well, uh, from the 40th line. So actually that object did not have a title, it did not have a created date. Actually it did have a title because here in the year 2 uh, documentation if you go check the event object uh, event object has a title it has a uh, start date as an end date it can have a URL a class name all that all that is uh, possible to have so actually the error was uh, we got an error on the first created date because it didn't have a created date property so that was the first error it got so actually that was the basic mistake over there and the next one and the other one was I had to create I had to create a tasks array and put those event objects with the values assigned from the database object which is the Eve and this is the event object and I created an array of those objects and then I passed those tasks to the events calendar so from the events calendar it's going to show uh, it's going to loop through those events and show them in here so that was the last lesson uh, part one of this uh, so what I'm going to do today is I when someone clicks on a particular date I'm going to grab the date of that element and I am going to create a pop-up so that uh, with that date and so you have to put the title and the description for that day and save which will create an event on a particular uh, on the clicked on date so let's get into it first thing we have to create a pop-up so I'm gonna remove I'm gonna create copy this uh, copy this and paste it here so we don't want to create the event button so there, let's remove that and paste in our bootstrap model this was unnecessary so let's create rename this to event and that's it so what I'm going to do is to grab the click event once at uh, this is this has been clicked a day has been clicked so if you inspect element this you can see uh, we can have the class of FC date and it has it has a date a date attribute which is which has the particular date of the clicked event so it's easy as that but you can do is from jQuery document dot on click of this class I want to do a function and then first of all gets the date so create a variable of date and get the date so this which refers to the clicked element uh, get uh, attribute of data date okay we got the attribute now we have to do is call on uh, a model uh, load event so I'm going to copy this just copy this and show uh, so what I will do is uh, I have to pass in the date uh, for this controller to this controller when submitting so I had to figure out a way to get this date uh, passed on to this controller so th of course that happens is I can uh, actually do a get call to get get the particular create um, so I'm going to do dollar get uh, index.php uh, 
uh, request event create and I'm going to pass in some values pass in the date yes I'm going to pass in the date as date and once we get that uh, so once we get so just let me do <laughs> sorry okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in the date to this so this will be action create is expecting a date it has to expect a date so this is will expect a date and that date is going to be assigned to the model created date so I'm going to assign that uh, so first I'll remove the timestamp so let's put it as date remove this as done save um, okay so date and I'm going to pass in I'm going to render the create uh, view file so I'm going to do a render Ajax as well so that will all that information actually that form will be loaded on to this data so what I will do is I will show and show model content find attribute I will load all this information okay let's check out whether this works okay what is the first error oh we don't have p model okay click event we got it so what was the error okay so re and create date we passed that not found mm -hmm. actually we can't do load I think we have to HTML okay there goes the form so the created date is the date that we clicked on so if I click on 17th that is the created date so uh, do this on the 17th here is how to do it okay let's create and let's redirect it back to the index file where the calendar is and let's okay so 17th we have created an event so do it's create another one the 18th 18th event have some fun and not the 18th actually it's 8th have some fun create and there you go I hope you like that uh, so and another thing that you looked at look at is this event object so we can assign values to any of those for example I can put a class name I can do this go to our index and event object has class name which will ask for a string or array uh, so I'm going to put a string of uh, let's say ginger okay save and let's put okay so actually these will have a danger class mm. yeah there you go we have the danger class but we don't have any CSS for that so uh, Let's put a BTN class so that we can check. Oh, okay. Anyways, you can have any class you want, and that is one property actually. You can have editable, start editable, duration, background color, border color. Okay, we can let's have a background color as well. 
uh, let's remove that and have a background color of red which I like and save and everything has a background color of red anyways uh, that's about it uh, just check out this and do what you want with that uh, okay anyways that is part two I hope you guys enjoy watching this one uh, and girls of course uh, stay tuned for more please do subscribe and share my tutorials and have fun have a good day guys bye